Hi, my name is Julia, and this is my exam video number three. To start off, there's a breeder that wants to use two cats, one named Zuko and the other named Macchiato, and they want to use them for their specific traits to have a litter of kittens. The breeder got genetic testing done on both of them to determine whether either of them have genetic abnormalities that could possibly be passed down to their offspring. Zuko here was the first one to get his test results back. Once they received Zuko's test results, they found out that he had a chromosomal aberration that can affect his fertility rates. This type of chromosomal aberration is called an inversion. Since the centromere is involved, it is called a pericentric inversion and not a paracentric inversion. This inversion has to form an inversion loop for the chromosomes to pair up for meiosis. This is a simple way of showing what the inversion loop looks like during meiosis. The crossover between these two chromosomes happens between the J gamete and the K gamete. Each of the different chromatids are labeled as a different color, and as you can see, there are four different outcomes. The blue gamete is not viable, and neither is the green. The red and the purple gametes are viable because they are not missing any genetic material. And since two out of the four gametes are not viable, Zuko therefore only has 50% of his gametes viable for offspring. The breeder has now gotten Macchiato's genetic tests back and found out that she does not have any chromosomal aberrations that will affect her chance of having offspring. This is Macchiato's layout of chromosomes. You can see that they are the exact same thing. There is no inversions happening here at all. Since Macchiato's chromosomes are the same thing, then this creates four identical chromosomes that are all going to be viable. There is a crossover between the J and the K gametes, but this does not affect them on being viable or not. Since Macchiato's chromosomes produce four viable gametes, she therefore has a higher fitness than Zuko, since he only has a 50% chance of having viable offspring, because two out of the four of his gametes are non-viable.